Will you love me? Do you know? You know, and I, I remember when I played it, it, it was, I mean, I felt absolutely stripped naked. Kim Novak is a famous American retired film and TV actress, artist, and visual artist. She started her successful film career back in 1954 after signing with Columbia Pictures. Kim has starred in several movies such as Pal Joey, The Man with the Golden Arm, and Picnic. Let me tell you that this actress is widely popular for her role in the Alfred Hitchcock thriller Vertigo, which was released in 1958. Novak has starred opposite various prominent leading actors of the era, such as Lawrence Harvey, Kirk Douglas, Tyrone Power, James Stewart, Frank Sinatra, William Holden, and Fred McMurray. Kim has won an honorary Golden Bear Award and two Golden Globe Awards. She's also received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In any way, he was calling the hairdress over constantly, fix that. In the back, the bun is twisted wrong. And he would notice that. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Her full name is Marilyn Pauline Novak, but is also known as The Lavender Girl and Kim Novak. She was born February 13, 1933 in Chicago, Illinois, making her 87 at the time of this production. She stands at 1.68 meters or 5 feet 6 inches tall. The star sign of Kim is Aquarius, and her hair is blonde. Moreover, the color of Kim's eyes is green. The favorite color of this actress is black, and she weighs around 65 kilograms. Back in the year 1995, Empire Magazine ranked Kim on the list of the 100 sexiest stars in film history. This retired actress has influenced several actors and fashion designers. Naomi Watts has said that her character interpretation in the film Mulholland Drive, which was released in the year 2001, was influenced by Kim's performance in the film Vertigo. Moreover, the famous British fashion designer Alexander McQueen named her first bag after Kim in 2005. Discussing the religious beliefs of Kim, she's a Catholic. Kim is friends with Carol Brown. Kim raises llamas and horses in Oregon. In 1983, Terry Lynn portrayed her in Rita Hayworth, the love goddess, and in Italy, Rosetta Calavetta dubbed most of Kim's films. Let me tell you that Kim visited Sammy Davis Jr. in the hospital shortly before he died. In March 2012, this famous actress publicly claimed that she was raped during her childhood. Did you know that Yoko Ono was born five days after Kim was born? When Kim moved to Los Angeles in 1953, she lived in a curfew dormitory where no men were allowed. Back in the year 2006, this retired actress was injured in a horse riding accident, and Kim suffered nerve damage, broken ribs, and a punctured lung. Fortunately, Kim made a full recovery within only a year. In March 1965, Kim married English actor Richard Johnson, and the pair divorced in 1966. However, they have remained friends afterwards. Later, Kim was engaged to director Richard Quine. Let me also tell you that Kim has dated Porfirio Ruberosa, David Hemmings, Will Chamberlain, and Michael Brandon. Then in 1974, Kim met Robert Malloy, who was an equine veterinarian. The pair married in March 1976, and Kim became the stepmother of Robert's two children. Robert died in November 2020. All over this country even. Uh, we live in Oregon now, and I long to have some of the old taste, and I went to class. Kim is the daughter of Blanche Novak and Joseph, who were of Czech descent. Joseph was a history teacher and worked as a freight dispatcher on St. Paul Railroad during the Depression. On the other hand, Kim's mother was a factory worker. The actress went to William Penn Elementary School and later attended Farragut High School. After graduating from high school, Kim enrolled in Wright Junior College and the actress also received two scholarships to the School of the Art Institute in Chicago. Kim has a sister named Arlene. Kim became interested in modeling and went on a cross-country tour modeling for a refrigerator company. Let me tell you that she was also crowned Miss Deep Freeze by this company. 
While the actress stopped in Los Angeles during her cross-country tour, she stood in line to be extras in two RKO movies, including Son of Sinbad and The French Line. The actress met an agent and she signed a deal with Columbia Pictures. Kim wanted to be an original and even fought with the chief of Columbia Pictures. Harry Cohn was the chief at that time and he insisted Kim change her name to Kit Marlowe. Eventually, they agreed on the name Kim Novak. The first role of Kim for the studio was in the film noir called Pushover. It was released in 1954. During the same year, Kim starred in the romantic comedy titled F. Both of these films were successful and Kim soon became a famous actress. In 1955, Kim appeared in the feature film titled Five Against the House. During the same year, this lady played the role of Madge Owens in the film version of Picnic. The next year, this famous actress appeared on the game show titled What's My Line? Kim went on to star in the film The Man with the Golden Arm. Her next project in 1956 was the Eddie Duchin story. In 1957, Kim appeared in the biopic called Gene Eagles. After acting in several successful films, Kim became one of the largest box office draws of the year in 1957 and 1958. In 1957, Columbia Pictures placed Kim in a movie adaptation of Pal Joey. In 1958, this famous actress appeared in the hit film titled Vertigo. The next year, Kim starred in the film Middle of the Night. Then in 1960, this actress appeared in the romantic drama titled Strangers When We Meet. In 1962, Kim appeared in the comedy Boys Night Out, which was unsuccessful. By the end of the year 1966, Kim no longer wanted to live her life as a Hollywood movie star. Kim eventually moved away from Hollywood and started discovering herself anew. From then on, this actress preferred to concentrate on the visual arts. In 1968, she returned to the screen when Kim appeared in The Legend of Lila Claire. The Great Bank Robbery was released in 1969, and it was the last film in which Kim appeared during the 1960s. In 1973, Kim starred in Tales That Witness Madness, and then in 1975, she took part in the ABC movie titled Satan's Triangle. Kim officially retired from acting back in 1991 and currently works as a visual artist and a painter. Close to where I went to Bohemian School. Yes, I went to Bohemian School after my public school. Uh, during the week, I had to go and went and enjoyed going. Kim has made millions of dollars by appearing in various successful movies. Moreover, she's made money from brand endorsement deals such as a film producer. Let me tell you that Novak has appeared in ads for Lux Soap. The highest grossing films of this retired actress include The Man with the Golden Arm, The Mirror Carcad, and Vertigo. Kim has also made money as a painter. The total net worth of Kim Novak is $15 million. Back in the year 1977, this actress purchased a ranch in Sam's Valley, Oregon. The ranch covered 43 acres and Kim along with her husband made this ranch into their house. Unfortunately, the house burned to the ground in 2000. Kim lost all of her art as well as the only draft of her autobiography. Let me tell you that Kim had been working on this autobiography for the past 10 years and Kim purchased her Big Sur home when she was filming The Notorious Landlady. Kim Novak likely owns the following cars. A 1975 Jaguar MK8. A 4-Ford Custom 300. A Cadillac, a 1975 Rolls Royce, a 